Okay, uh, Lorenzo, you ended up top 16, right? With Salmon Grades. You started with X2 or O2. O2. Yeah, O2. But um, yeah, top 16. So, anything you want to say before you go to the list? Uh, I don't know. Like, I picked it up pretty late. I'm not that convinced of the deck, to be honest. Like, you just rarely draw enough monsters or, like, a good ratio of monsters and non engine cards. But it worked out, I guess. All right. Overall, I just not particularly a fan of the deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see this. Uh, so of course, Spinny, obviously, one of. You could play three of these, but I didn't want to play too many monsters that don't do anything really, because it's just a good extender going second, yeah. but that's it. Uh, two Buffalo, oh, it's a good card, I would play three, but I didn't want to go over 40, so if you can cut something, play a third one of these. These are really good. They just filter your hand and draw you into your trap boots. Um, even though this is really hard against hand traps, like they just stop you entirely, you have to play it because this deck is, contrary to popular belief, it's not like one card combos or something, you always need like specific two card combos, and yeah. this is one that just searches the missing cards that you have to max out in, in my opinion. And the best card of the deck, uh, Scythe is broken, Sanctum. It's literally the reason why I even played this deck, because the best out of Sanctum is just flipping your own Sanctum. Uh, and apart from that, like even if you draw it, you have a searchable card that can pop it. It's really good in this deck. And also like setting up and sighting your opponent, you have exactly the setup you need to kill them. So it's just perfect in the deck. Then uh, free Fantastical Dragon, I can't express how insane this card is overall. Like in decks that have like random one you don't want to draw, it's insane. Against Striker, the negate card is broken. It's a body on board. For the mirror, it's pretty hard to out it even. Um, that's just overall a really, really good card. You could main like real hand trips over it, but I just thought like I'll take the loss against Wonder Dragon game one if they combo me. But this is overall a really good card. And uh, Ash, obviously, average hand trip. Like, it, nothing changed. It's not broken, it's not bad, it's just an average card. Um, circle. Obviously, super good. Field spell, one willpower. I didn't like more of these because there's not much that disrupts you in a way that it just destroys your monster. So I just thought, didn't think this would do enough. Like, against Striker, if the way you put it into your guy, you would have to have this and the combo still remaining in your hand. Uh, Fusion of Fire, which is broken for the mirror, and does most of your OTKs. case. Uh, for the traps, one counter trap, I just didn't want to break on it. I played two of these though, because I played Triple Trap Trick and wanted to set it if I had any of my other traps already. Uh, then free impermanence as a hand trap and generic good back row. The coolest thing you can do with trap trick is like setting impermanence into the zone where something is already. Yeah. Especially against striker, you can impermanence into the multi multi roll zone and then negate their Kagari, which is like a sweet log. And then obviously the Okay. And the extra deck. Uh, pretty messed up now, but a Boros Vault, I wanted to save some space and then get a transport uh, token combo. This just does the same thing, essentially, and especially you need this if you get cherried. OTKing is really hard without this. And then I played the Skull Raid as a cherry target against Thunder Dragon, but I also made it once to shuffle back aside. Um, and Phoenix, because it's a fire monster and you can use it with the XP. And the Fire Charmer for retaliating CN in the mirror sometimes comes, comes up. Two Leo, you need for the OTK and just generically yeah. spinning back is good. Uh, three Sun Little obviously, and three of the Link 1. Fusion, Link, DXC, and Dweller, which just probably never comes up. Dweller, in general, like the rank 4s in this deck, is just if you have. If you bricked on the level 4s, but still have a good hand, you can do it. But at that point, you might just do the normal combo and it's way better. And for Psychic, Big Panker Trap, which is broken in the mirror, and just, like, the most generic card you probably can side this against any matchup, apart from Thunder Dragon. Uh, free Cherry for the mirror, and for Thunder Dragon, free Droll, specifically only for Thunder Dragon. Uh, free gold by the grave going yeah, first against yeah, Striker and Mirror because I knew Striker was maining cherries, so I wanted something when I go first to ensure that a bit. Uh, super poly for the Mirror and two stones to set it off first. Right. Any last words? Uh, shout out to the team, obviously, yeah. our sponsors Game like, Island, Hard Market, Custom Playmat, Ultimate Guard, and Junk's Playground. Shout out to Jawa, Tom Piergoods, uh, every. Everybody who helped me with the deck, everybody who told me to come here in the first place, and shout out to my girlfriend. 
<laughs> you can't forget her. <laughs> That's good. Okay, uh, Lorenzo, thanks for listening. Congrats with your top 16 spot.